Now, should Airbnb be taken down in Ireland while we're in the level five restrictions? It's something that's been suggested by a Cork senator who's called on the government. He wants legislation introduced aimed at restricting Airbnb from renting out properties right across the country. Uh, senator Tim Lambert is here with us on News Talk today. Why do you want Airbnb taken down, Tim? Yeah, look, I think there's a call I made in the challenge yesterday. It's a frustration. I think there's been so much done by the Irish society and the Irish people to make sure they've actually abide by the level five restrictions. But in my part of the world, I've seen an unusual trend emerge in the last few weeks. Um, the trend is basically we have properties rented out for weekends in particular, where you have binge parties coming down, coming to rural and scenic areas, renting a house for two nights. People like the, the tweet by the Garishy Corner two weeks ago was, seven individuals from Cork City came down, rented a property in Kinsale, and were literally having a party there for the weekend. Seven different households involved in that incident. That is the kind of scenario we're having in some parts of Ireland. And I looked up the Airbnb website uh, yesterday, and there was over 200 um, properties alone in County Cork and thousands in Ireland op- open for rent. And the majority of Airbnb websites are for actual holiday accommodations or breaks. They're not for actual people who actually go physically out working. So I think there's a loophole here that we just need to clamp down on because the general public have done so much to abide by level five restrictions. We need to make sure that the unfortunate few that are aren't need to be curtailed mm. in this manner. Okay. Look, there's nothing to suggest, though, Tim, that people might are using Airbnb though for legitimate reasons, like work-related travel, or you know, you might have people who I up until very recently, for instance, was in you know a house share with with three other people, and it often crossed my mind that if I had um, contracted COVID-19, I would probably have to you know rent a place or maybe take a place in Airbnb for two weeks and and move into it in an effort to you know isolate myself from my other housemates so there, I mean you, you don't know that everybody who's who's renting an Airbnb property doesn't have a legitimate reason yeah, so my constituents, and particularly in Kinsane and along that entire hinterland, have been on to me over the last few weeks about this phenomenon. They are saying weekends, numerous cars turning up at Airbnb properties, and the knock-on effect is nothing more than drink parties happening there. And that's what the constituents are telling me on the ground regarding what's happening. And the real issue here is, like, I have to go to Dublin for one night every week when the channel is sitting. I must literally hand in my details of where I'm working, who I'm working for, or where I'm going to be to get my accommodation in Dublin mm. for that night. And I think that's really appropriate, and I commend the hotel where I stay for being so diligent in that. There is no checks and balances when it comes to the Airbnb's website, as far as I can see. And I am deeply concerned about, you know, this kind of break away from the level five. I realise people are being restricted. I realise people are getting frustrated. But I don't see any logical reason why people who need to go away for a weekend for work purposes to rural or to scenic locations in West Cork on a weekend now. That makes no sense to me. And if they are doing that and with numerous cars turning up at properties like that, then we have a problem. And I contacted my local authority, Cork and the Council, about that. And Cork and the Council are the regulating body for Airbnb websites, in particularly rent pressure zones areas. Okay. And they stated to me they don't have a full list of the Airbnb properties in Cork. Like, it's that lack of joined-up thinking of able to regulate the Airbnb network is having a major impact on people. And the people that are being really affected are the people that are doing the right thing. Okay, let me let me just... We we got a statement, Tim, from Airbnb about this, right? And what they they say is, they say that it's false false to suggest that listings on their site are intended solely for leisure, that there are legitimate reasons for travel during Level 5, things like work-related travel that's required for workers providing essential services. And they say that your comments fail to take these cases into account. And they also say as well that, you know, parties are banned on Airbnb, that they do take action, swift action, robust action against those in breach of the policies um, but they say that they haven't had specific issues brought to their attention for them to investigate um, and they also say in conclusion that they want to be you know, good partners to communities and they share clear information about government travel restrictions and that they do remind all the hosts and the guests to follow those rules. Yeah and what I would say to them, what the practice is happening on the ground is totally different and the practice that's happening in the ground is what people are coming back to me from my constituents. They are saying Airbnb property, multiple cars, weekends. 
And they are probably right to say that there is an opportunity for some of these properties to be working for um, who have to work that they work. But to be very honest, in these rural and scenic locations around West Cork in particular, nobody, nobody believes they're going down there for a weekend to go working. Like, there's no logic in that argument whatsoever. And because of that, there's a great distrust after building up. An urban rumour has built up, and I have numerous, and I'm about multiple people on okay. to me on a considerate basis about this. All right.